Matthew Lapp, host of the Matthew Lapp Train Guys segment show. Also, today in this segment, I'm at the Sioux Historical Railroad Association, Sioux City, Iowa. The Siouxland Historical Railroad Association is located on 3400 Sioux River Road in Sioux City, Iowa. The site is located near the Iowa-South Dakota border, located next to the Big Sioux River. The museum is what used to be the site of the maintenance facility for the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad in the city. The Sioux City and Pacific Railroad was a railroad in the states of Iowa and Nebraska. It was the first railroad to arrive in Sioux City. In 1868, the first train arrived in Sioux City, built as a connection from Sioux City, Iowa, to the Union Pacific Railroad in Fremont, Nebraska. It became part of the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad in the 1880s. By 1890, Sioux City became a major railroad hub, and Sioux City became the 10th largest railroad town in the country. The roundhouse is where steam engines would be housed. The site closed in 1980 and became a salvage yard, and all the historic buildings were nearly in jeopardy of being demolished. Thankfully, Larry Obermeyer and his son, Larry Obermeyer Jr., rescued the site and restored a lot of historic railroad buildings on the property. The site soon became what is known as the Sioux City Railroad Museum. By the time the association acquired it, the site was badly overgrown with junk and the remaining buildings were in bad shape, having been extensively vandalized. In 1995, the organization purchased the 31.5-acre site of the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul railroad shops on the west edge of Sioux City. A lot of the historic buildings were falling into disrepair, and only seven of the original structures remain. Once the site was purchased, work began to restore the old buildings, including the roundhouse, to become what is now a museum. The museum added several different locomotives and train cars over the years to the collection, and even railroad artifacts. The museum even gives train rides, including on the standard gauge tracks. They mainly use the speeder and some flatbeds to go from the turntable till the line ends at where it meets up with the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad tracks. In 2016, the miniature railroad was constructed and the tracks were laid. Once the first train ride was given on the 15-inch gauge tracks. The train could only operate back and forth until the year 2018. As you can tell by these footages, the miniature train started going in a complete circle around the museum grounds. Today, the museum continues to preserve a lot of railroad history from other railroads besides the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad, and a lot of railroad artifacts as well, as it still does today.